Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Tinsley from Bliss and Faith and I am back today to share with you an Erin Condren haul. I am super super excited. So I, um, the team reached out and wanted to do a collab with some of the um, affiliates and I was chosen to um, participate in that collab so that is what I am here just want to get that out of the way first to share um, this back to school collab so thank you to the Erin Condren team for including me in that collab but I am here to share this haul with y'all and I am so excited I told y'all that I was going to be sharing the um, new monthly budget planner when I got it and I did end up um, grabbing it with this haul so I'm excited to, be able to share that with you all today so um, and just a quick thing I just want to speak to the fact that I have been gone for a little bit I just taken some time away to just enjoy the summer and breathe this is the last um, the last uh, couple weeks of summer and this is pretty much it for like my son is starting kindergarten so this is it for like you know all the preschool days for him and so I just spent some time um, getting him ready and getting his school supplies and things like that because um, we are embarking on this new journey of kindergarten and in, in real school so I want to thank y'all so much for um, sticking around and yeah I would do hope to get back to posting videos soon I just need some time to adjust to you know some of the changes that I've had going on in life like I say with school starting and things like that so I do definitely want to get back to planning I have missed my budget planning monthly planning uh, I'm just and weekly and daily planning so I'll definitely get back to that and again like the summertime y'all there's just not really a whole lot going on so there's really not a lot of plans outside of like you know hanging out watching TV whatever so anyway as I digress, I want to get into showing y'all all the goodies that are in this box. So I just got to illustrate, I have not opened it. I want to open it live here on camera and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get my little nifty slice tool and hopefully, and if they don't work, I have these little, these little scissors. So we'll see which one. I didn't want to come over here like the big scissors because these boxes are not too hard to open. It just has like a little piece of tape right here. So I think I'll be able to get it open with my slice tool. Oops, don't want to hit my camera. All right. So I am, uh, okay. This is, I've never filmed with something this big. Okay, so. Alrighty, so I kind of had to turn the box around because if I turn it this way, <laughs> y'all can't see anything. You can like barely see it so I can get it under my lens. Okay, we're going to go with that. Hopefully the lighting isn't too funky. But anyway, this is how it comes. And it's a really cute little sticker. It says enjoy AaronCondren.com. And I want to be a complete savage and rip it open so it packed very very nicely it has bubble wrap in it and oh all right so i'm gonna take everything out and then go over it um but first things first this is the pack of designer gel pens so like I said, i'm just gonna take everything out and get the box out of the way markers and i'll go over everything in detail and this is that super um, nice pin that you saw a lot of influencers have. And then, ah, the planner. All right, so can't really see, but this is like the planner. Can't really see, so I'm going to take the box out of the way. As pretty and cute as the box is, it is massive and in the way. So I am going to close that, put that away and okay so first things first I will and just four things so it's not like it's not gonna be like a super super long haul I feel like y'all are so far away so I'm gonna zoom oops I'm gonna zoom us in a little bit I have been filming um reaction videos for my other channel so I film those on my phone so I have to adjust my tripod a little differently and I feel like it's a little off I probably should just get two different tripods because I kind of need this one to kind of stay 
where it is it's a little annoying trying to switch between the two but anyway moving right along so this is the planner I chose this cover y'all know I'm all about the feminine and the girly so I chose this as my uh, cover and I was able to choose any any really anything on the side of my liking but I was able to choose the planner of my liking and then accessories as well so my current budget planner which I left in my room goes through December so this one doesn't start um, until January that's how I do my planning I don't go with the school year because I just like a full year in a planner even with a weekly planner I'm the same way um, I'm gonna put my little slice tool away here and then we'll jump into the planner really really quick and then we'll jump into the other items okay so this is the monthly budget planner same as you know before this is a gorgeous cover gorgeous gorgeous cover y'all know I sell covers in my shop but I really really love some of Erin Condren's covers as well they're very very well made um, and they're really nice so yeah alrighty so nonetheless let's go ahead and open this pretty girl up and y'all have already seen you know these planners when they first came out so but I did promise I would share mine when I finally got it in so this is the neutral version of it and as much as I love multicolor I just like the way the neutral one was laid out so I'm just gonna kind of thumb through I'm not gonna go through everything in it because again there's been a ton of these videos already posted but basically the main thing in the planner that is new I don't believe there was a, a page just like a dot grid little dot grid notes page and then this is new over here and then so the layout of the monthly is different as well so um or well, at least like you know they've taken some things away they've added some things and so far I like it I wasn't sure you know I saw a lot of the other videos on it and I wasn't sure how I felt about it you know because again humans we we don't like change a lot of the times but I like it so far I like it the paper feels really good plenty of notes here for budget plenty of notes pages here for budget and I didn't get like the extra pages um, in the back at least what is in here the 40 or whatever is plenty but yeah there's one two three and four pages and then this one goes to the next month so so far so good and I'm just gonna flip to the back because all the months are pretty much the same so in the back you have this kind of year overview after December and yeah so you can kind of put down your goals and different things and oh it says that we've taken extreme care in designing this life planner to reflect our high standards of design aesthetic and copy accuracy. However, we cannot set responsibility for errors or changes. Interesting. Click a little note here at the bottom. So anyway, um, and her products are made in the USA, which I really, really love. I'm all for supporting companies and brands that um, are made in the USA. So I definitely appreciate that about her brand. And this back part um, where the notes are, where it got the other side of the notes page, just says, Life is a kaleidoscope of colors. Intricate, unexpected, beautiful. Very nice. And then these are just the 40 like, notes pages. So and they all have like different colors of this little, um, what's this thing called? Hexagon or whatever. I don't know. But yeah. Um, then you have some stickers in the back, which... You know, I'll see if I use it. I've never used them in the past, but why not? And there's this really nice pocket. And it's the same thing on this side. So I am happy that she um, has this style on the back as well. Because if you've seen in the um, planner from last year, there's like this little like scallop pocket. And it's just kind of pointless. I mean, you can put like really short things in there. But yeah. So that is the monthly deluxe planner. And this um, cover was actually the Green Shoes Wedding in Erin Condren collaboration. So yeah, guys, that is the my new monthly deluxe planner that I received with this back school collaboration. And again, you know, for me, it's super important to have a functioning, a functional budget planner because with kids in school and now my daughter's going to be in school too. 
um, I'm going to need to really, really, you know, crack down even more on the budget and money and as a family, you know, see where we're at because there are more expenses, you know, as kids get older, they actually get more expensive. So I'm happy to be able to go into 2000 and um, what year are we in? 2020 with the new planner and I've already got it and I'm set to go. Alrighty, so we'll get that out of the way and we'll move into, and I need my little slice tool again. This is the pen, and I saw, y'all know I'm a sucker for pens. I love pens. I've always loved pens. I collect pens. Um, one of the things I was disappointed about not continuing my uh, subscription with the Planner Society was that I was going to miss out on all the cute pens. But, you know, uh, I'm not going to pay you know that much money every month just for a pen because I wasn't really using the products but yeah this is um, her signature her signature pen and I you know yes it is a little frivolous but I I had to get it y'all like it, it definitely is a frivolous buy you don't need it but it's nice if you are a pen fixing auto or someone who collects pens then you know that's it's just something that you're, you're gonna get and spend money on so um, I'll go ahead and open it up. Okay. And the packaging is really, really nice for it. So I could definitely tell that she definitely put some money into it. And it has a sort of plastic covering over it. So I'll take that off. Okay. So it's a really cute pen. Um, it is ballpoint. Hopefully I'll be able to switch it out um, at some point. It is a little bit smaller than I thought. I thought it was a little bit. I have a Planner Society pen that's like a kind of a. Uh, it has a really kind of fat barrel and I thought the pen would be about that um, size and even weight but it's not but it does feel like a really um, it does feel like really nice in my hand I'm gonna grab that little sticky note off of um, that little sticky note I used to cover up my address and just do a little pen test I'm not a fan of ballpoint pens to tell the truth so I typically go with gel so um, I'll do a pen test and then I'll take it apart. I, I like to take pens apart. Alrighty, so let's do a little pen test. Okay, uh, you know. So I'm not impressed with the way it's writing, but I think you just need to warm it up. Like I said, I'm not a fan of ballpoint pens, so if there's any way that I can switch out uh, the ink I definitely will because this is yeah I don't know and I may contact customer service about it because um, I don't know I'll, I'll see because it's skipping really bad but it is a nice pen it does have some nice weight to it and uh, let me see if I can I don't even think there's a way to take it apart. Usually you can unscrew the usually you can unscrew the barrel of it, but it doesn't appear to be. So I don't know how you would actually refill this pen. So anyway, that is that. Let me feel like I'm, so that is that. That is the pen. I'm gonna zoom y'all out just a little bit. So I don't know. Um I thought I was gonna like it a little bit better. But it's really cute. I do love that it is in the same pattern as the um, planner. And I really do love the kaleidoscope theme. I'm a little disappointed in the pen, to be completely honest. But I will keep trying it. And if push comes to shove, I'll reach back out to customer service and let them know that I'm just not getting optimal results from the pen. But the packaging is really nice. And, you know, it's just a nice, like, collector's item. Especially if you're a big Aaron Conjuring fan or if you just like pens. So that is that. And I should have gotten another sheet of paper to do a pen test with these. So I'm going to see because the next up are the markers and the pens. So I'm going to actually grab some scratch paper. Let me see if I have any nearby that I can use. I'm going to do that and I'll come right back. Alrighty, so I have grabbed a piece of, well, this piece of cardstock. It was a sheet I used to print my uh, thank you little cards on. I'm just going to put my little scissors up here. And I'm excited. These were probably the thing outside the planner I was most excited to try out were the pins and the markers. So I'll dig into the pins first. 
and they didn't send an invoice in with my order so I can't tell y'all how much everything was but you can definitely go on the website and I'll give y'all I'll list everything in the description for what these are so this set right here are the designer gel pens the neons and you just get basically a red or orange not a red a pink or orange and a yellow so let's see how they do these are just cute pens so they're just you know like a cap or whatever you know I me mean? your girl likes a good retractable pen Ooh, I like this so far Ooh. now these write smooth yes and again I'm a fan of gel ink and I'm a fan of um, I'm not a fan of ballpoint pens so, so let's see Ooh. oh yeah <laughs> Let me zoom y'all in a little bit. Oh yeah, these are right up my alley. This is what I'm talking about when, when we're talking about a good writing pen. This one's gonna be a little light to see on camera. Oh, but it still writes so good. This reminds me of a highlighter. Okay, so these these gel pens they get an A plus off the top. They get an A plus. These neon ones, and I was thinking that you know. Because with neon, you know, neon can be pretty hit or miss a lot of times. But these, these are good. These are, these are legit, y'all. These are legit. I am loving these. So these would be great for taking notes with. Um, I'm actually going to be using these in my planner. So let me zoom that out just a little bit. I'm actually going to be using these. I plan on using these in my planner. That's why I got them. I don't typically, I typically stick with my Pilot Friction um, pen. But I, I like I so far <laughs> I really like these neon ones so let's see about the classic ones and with these it's just red green blue purple and black so we'll take these out and we'll see now I can zoom y'all back in because there's just be like way too much of like <laughs> moving the camera so we'll see pin okay so this is either these are really fine tipped let me compare because I'm not I think these are maybe have a and they don't say on them and these are by Monami so yeah you can kind of tell I mean it's gonna be kind of hard to tell let me see if I can zoom y'all in and see if I can focus y'all into the pen Okay, so you can kind of see, I can only, all right, so you can kind of see that the tips are a little bit different. I'm going to hold my hand, well, that's as equally distracting, but you can kind of see that the tips are a little different. So the tip on the, um, on the black pen, let's see, this is like really a lot, but anyway, so. So it's like so much oh there we go hold it this way okay so you can kind of see that the that the the tip of the pen is a little bit broader or at least it looks like it to me it may be the same but it feels like this one's a little bit broader than the black one I don't know y'all probably won't be able to really tell but I can definitely tell in person you can tell so I don't know if that's why I'm getting different results whatever but let's let's go back to the pen test and see because these pink pens I mean these are uh, the neon ones they are they're right up my alley so let's go back because I wasn't that impressed with the, the black pen so far so let's see okay it's not bad it's not bad um, it feels a little scratchy when I'm writing but it's not bad it's not bad at all it's actually pretty smooth yeah it's actually pretty smooth is there it's not coming out as bold or as what's the word like thick bold as the um, neon pen but yeah these are definitely finer too like I can definitely see it with um, this purple one I mean so let's see so I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it has a definite, look, look how fine that tip is. Like that's a real fine tip, which I'm not a big fine tip pen person. I like my, I like like 0.7, you know, or like 1.1. 1, 1. But it's a real fine tip. 
real fine tip for that. Hopefully y'all can see. But yeah. So anyway, let's do the pen test. So yeah, I pretty much confirmed that these are these are like fine tip. These particular ones are. And like with most fine tip, you're gonna get a little bit of eh, gotta warm it up, warm them up. Okay, not bad at all though. Like once you warm them up, they're not they're not bad at all. Alright, so let's try the blue. These are definitely fine, like fine tip. The blue, ooh, the blue writes really nice. So essentially for these to be fine tip. I like these. I do like them. Even though they're fine tip, I do like them. And they feel really nice. They're really sleek. The green. I've always been a, a bit, uh, I've always liked green pens, funny enough. Of course, I like pink and purple, but I've always kind of liked green pens. When I was younger, I wanted to be a teacher just so I could use like fun color pens. I was that kid that would go to the store, and back in the day, you could buy like this, they're like the standard, like sleek um, paper mate pens that were, um, yeah, they came out the 12 pack. They were like solid, and then they also had the ones that were like the white body and like the colorful caps. I would love to say I would insert a picture, but I know that when I'm editing, I'll forget to do it, so I ain't gonna lie to y'all. So this is red. And yeah, so these are really nice. Once you warm them up, yeah, so, oops, darn it. Anyway, once you warm them up, they're really nice. This red is kind of a, a pinky red. But yeah, these are going to be fun to use. So, really nice for those. Okay, so, I, you know, I can't really complain. Can't really complain, y'all. Like, they're fine tip, which... You know, maybe I should have read the description to see like what type of a, uh, you know, tip it was or whatever. But I'm not complaining, y'all. Like it's, they're nice. They write really nice. And if you like fine tip pens, especially, you know, for, for your, your planner girls that love to write with like a nice fine tip black pen, I really like, um, they're really nice. Okay, so oh, let me put this one back. But yeah, these neon ones so far, I those are my favorite. Okay, so let's jump into the brights, which just by default, I love because I like anything that's like bright. So let's do a pen test with these. Okay, we need to warm it up a little bit. Okay, I'm not getting... Now for them to be bright, I expect, you know, like this to me is like a, a bright, that to me is bright. This one, I don't know. These are, again, they're kind of the same as the, they have the same like really fine tip as the, um, as the classic ones. And this is the, okay, the orange right is really nice. So again, some of them you're just going to get, you know, different results with. You know, depending upon the ink and then how long it's been, you know, sitting around. So that's the orange. Here's the green. Which you can't really see. But it actually, it writes really smooth. That writes really smooth. That green one writes really smooth. Okay, blue. Let's see how we do with blue. Oh, okay. Blue one's writing a bit like the pink one. I would affect the darker colors. To write a little bit better, but um, I don't know. This actually, like I would say again, once you warm them up, they do better. So purple, purple is always a good um, purple. Purple usually is a pretty good like you know. Whenever you get the purple, oh okay, what's going on? Okay, so again, just gotta warm them up. So if you get these and y'all have to warm them up a little bit, don't be discouraged. And I mean, that's kind of the nature of the beast with pins in anyway. So, you know, no worries. And I am writing on cardstock versus regular paper. So, you know, but they write about the same, even on regular paper. All right, so, so far I really do like everything, but my favorite are definitely the neon pins. But I have to say that, you know, they're definitely not, um, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. They're gonna, they're really fun to write in your planner. If you have like a really large desk calendar, these would be super fun to use. 
and I got the three different sets because I mean why not like you you're gonna get the colors you're gonna get the pins y'all like get all of them so you can have fun so those are all of the pins I'm gonna zoom out so those are all the sets of the pins I like them my favorite are the neons um, next up I'll probably say the classic and the brights so if anything I definitely recommend these two you know I'm probably gonna have to work with these a little bit more to see if they kind of start writing a little bit smoother but you know none of them wrote bad especially after you you know wrote for a while on them or wrote for a while with them so I'll say that um I like them I definitely think that it's a good quality pen the body of the pen is nice you know it's um, they're not too big, they're not too small, but if it's up to me, I really, really like, like the neon ones. So those are the gel pens. That's kind of my little first reaction and review of those and sharing those with you all. And these are all available on the Air Conjun website. I know she does do a 50%, 15% off a lot of times if you bundle your accessories and I'll leave my link below you guys. Um, I am an affiliate, so whatever I don't really know what I get from it but you know it'll be it will be below the link and I'll actually leave the link um, to the planner as well because y'all may be interested in that so I'll leave the links to everything below and um, if you're not if you don't yet own an Erin Condren planner I there is a $10 coupon code um, that I'll give you as well but actually it's already in the description box so be sure to um, use that because if you're a brand new customer air contract, you can save ten dollars off. I think it does give me ten dollars as well. So again, full disclosure. But yeah, you can save ten dollars off and then on the website you can also save, I want to say fifteen percent. Usually she runs like a fifteen percent sale on the accessories. Alright, so the next thing I'm excited to jump into are the markers. These look like so much fun. I'm excited to try them out. So let's see. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab mine my little slice tool because they have these little those little stickers um i may actually just see if i can sit and uh i need to cut it i will but i want to see if i can lift the sticker up see, so my mom calling me to call her back in a second so they have like this these little circular sticker on here so let's see if i can actually probably just gonna you know I'm just gonna do that and I just do it on the back because I love to leave the sticker closed but hopefully this this stays closed without um hopefully it stays closed without you having to leave it taped okay so let's see all right so the, they just pulls off all right so these are the markers and these are the multicolored dual tip so my camera battery is dying so hopefully I don't get cut off this is the pink one and I'll just do a little test for y'all okay ooh I like these see I like anything that's like broad plus I always write better when I have like a broad tip so that's a medium tip oh the fine tip oh these are nice yeah I like these I like these a lot let me zoom in a little bit so that's the, that's like the magenta. Now we'll do the light pink. Okay, so that's the medium tip. And if my kids think they're gonna get their hands on these, they are sadly mistaken. Oops, got this little this little thing right here that goes into it. Let me move that aside. All right, so here's like the corally pink. Oops, that's a fine tip. Ooh, I like this one. I like all the pinks. I mean, who doesn't? All right, so. And these are all right, really good, really smooth. I like the weight of them. I like that they're not too heavy. Uh, they're not too, um, too thin. So here's the orange. Okay. And these all write really good. They're not they're not dried out. They're smooth. I feel like they have a lot of ink in them. 
but here's a green as I mentioned before I've always loved um, like green pens and green green markers green is not my favorite color but I do I do like it I think it's pretty and it's like it's the color of nature okay so these are like really really good so far so far I am oh this is like a really pretty like Kelly green I feel like I want to like color I feel like these are the kind of markers you use when you're like coloring those adult coloring pages but yeah these are these be really fun for like a big desk calendar oh for sure let's see whoops I keep wanting to so here's a light blue oh that's really pretty and then we'll try the fine side I like these like oh these will be fun and I don't know let me see if they if if you mark and I mean I know it's not a highlighter it doesn't seem like it bleeds doesn't seem they bleed that much okay I mean I know it's not a highlighter but I'm just you know you could kind of you could potentially highlight you know something with it all right so it's a darker blue very pretty I like these colors I like her take on these colors on these kind of you know some bright some primary colors and I like the way the ink and the, and the color is very true to the pen to the barrel of the pen and I like that because the most disappointing thing is when you get a pen or a marker or whatever and the color is so far away from it's on the barrel I would say this purple isn't as true but that blue is pretty true I mean you're always gonna be a little bit more vibrant just because of packaging okay so purple is always a good a good color too that usually like I say when it comes in um, pens and markers that it's like the ink whatever the, the ink is it's very close to blue so it's always y'all I very rarely have I read a purple pen that day okay my camera cut me off because my car got full but yeah I think I was saying that the only pen that I am the only one of these pens that I'm not a huge huge fan of is just a fine tip side for this lavender but otherwise, the all the bold ones, all the bold side or the medium tip sides, um, were really really good. So yeah, so that is the marker set, the multicolored dual tip markers. I can say I am highly impressed with these. They're going to be a lot of fun to use, and you know I think they're great. I think they're great, great quality. Uh, I can actually say it. So yeah, guys, that is my. Like I said this is a huge haul. Alrighty, so I got cut off y'all because my heart was full. But then I was just saying that I believe the last thing I was talking about was like these would be great if you're like color coding activities. So if you have a lot of things going on with like your kids or just a lot of things going on coming up, you not only color code different activities, you can color code different months. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, so not one for each color um, of the of the month of the year, but still you know you could always use the same color for for different months or whatever but um, you can color code you know different months different weeks um things like that so these markers are really nice and i like the fact that they're dual tip i like the fact that you get a medium a medium and um a fine tip so not only can you just write regular with them you can you know kind of highlight and color with them so i'm a really big fan so not just a tad humble on some water in the back sorry y'all um in the background so yeah so i am really really impressed with the multicolor dual tip markers i really really all right so i changed my battery and i probably have to change it again but i'm going to try to power through so again i really do i really did enjoy the dual tip markers and i have to say the packaging for them is really nice um each, this each pen has like its own little slot that it goes into and it's like it's nice really like Right, so technical difficulties all around <laughs> it's like been a minute since I uh, used my camera so I hadn't charged up any of my batteries so I was just going off a hope and a prayer that they were still had some juice in them but anyway as I was saying I really really um, enjoyed the markers they're really nice I like the fact that you get a bold um, a medium I want to say a bold and a fine tip but you get a medium and a fine tip um, but yeah if any of all the accessories I recommend the markers and I recommend the neon gels absolutely hands down for sure I can kind of take or leave the the other gel pens um so yeah so the markers and the gel neons for sure I love 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 those these two I can kind of take or leave 
I kind of take a lead, but if you do like gel pens and you're a fan of fine tip gel pens, then these are really nice. And again, she usually bundles, I think there's like you buy three, she does a 15% discount. I'll put all the links below and y'all can uh, get some savings that way for sure. And then we already talked about this pen. I'm probably going to contact um, customer service and just see because it is not. I'm going to try it out again on this cardstock paper just to see if it needs to warm up a little bit. But, um, I mean, it's, yeah. Uh, and for, I think this pen is like 18 bucks. So, all right. So, again, I mean, it's, it's a ballpoint pen, but I would expect for the premium price of the pen for it to write, you know, I mean, I, I, I have ballpoint pens that are by Light Pilot, and they write better than that. So I may reach out to customer service and, uh, you know, share my thoughts on the pen, or at least on the pen's performance. Because to me, yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know. I'll give it a couple more tries before I reach out. I really hate to reach out to, to customer service about it, but... If, if the pen's going to be a premium price, then, you know, you expect premium results from it. So, that are, those are my thoughts on the pen. It is really nice. It is a novelty item. It's definitely not something that you need uh, whatsoever. If you're, like, just a pen collector, a pen if it sounded like I am, then, you know, sure. If you have some extra, like, you know, referral points or whatever, you know, have at it. But I would just say don't, you know, just understand that it's a it is a novelty item and uh, things always look a lot bigger on camera than what they look in real life so that's just kind of the nature of the beast they always look better so yeah so anyway um i do love the planner that is my favorite and i will be getting a lot of use out of this come january when it starts and i'm excited to be able to have another uh, monthly budget plan or another monthly deluxe monthly planner to go into the new year with so um, I can't say enough about the planner. I'll leave a link below to the planner so y'all can get your hands on a copy of it or on one yourself. And um, yeah, I mean, there's a ton of planners on the market. I'm actually going to be doing a video about planner, like a planner showdown video where I'm going to be going over spiral, ring, disc. So um, stay tuned for that just when I get some time to you know, in between back to school and things like that. But I have been have I've had that video idea for a long time. So look forward to that. I have been a user of planners for a long, long time. I use every kind of planner I think that exists out there. Everything from TN to rings to spiral to disbound. Um, I don't think there's any other kind. But um, you know, even just like regular, you know, just regular bound. So my favorites. I would say my top favorite is a rings just because of the versatility and my next favorite is a spiral because I do like to have like a nice like all together uh, you know bound version of, of, uh, of my planner this bound is cool um, I haven't delved into them a lot but anyway y'all I'll share more of my thoughts on the different kinds of planners and why one type may work better for you versus another type and depending upon your needs um, even your personality, how you use your planner, what, what I know which would be the best type for you. So um, that is it, y'all. That is my little Erin Condren haul. Thank you again to the Erin Condren team for collabing with me on this back to school collaboration. Uh, I would definitely be utilizing all of these tools, even this pen, <laughs> in my um, you know throughout the year. And to kind of help me get into the groove with this new journey in life I'm taking with having, you know, two kids in school and just the business of life. So, and I think that's what the Erin Condren brand is about at the end of the day, is helping you to, um, you know, helping you with tools to plan your life better. Of course, you can use, you know, many different kinds of products to help plan your life and get you on the more productive and efficient tip. But, you know, I, like I say, I like the fact that her products are made in the USA. I think she does put a lot of time and diligence into them. And so I'm happy to, um, you know, share that and be a part of that. So if y'all have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will leave all the links to the products below. Again, if you want to get your hands on 
a deluxe monthly planner. I would uh, my link is already below. It is an affiliate link, full disclosure. Um, and then also just if you want to purchase anything else off the Erin Condren site, I'll leave my link for that so you get ten dollars off. I think like I said it does give me ten dollars. I'm not sure y'all, but I think it does something where it gives you something, it gives me something back, but that also helps me to um, get more things featured on the channel. So, you know, any way I can help you all, um, I love that. And any way you can help me, I would love that. So, anyway, enough rambling. I'm a little rusty, so I'm, I'm rambling up a bit more than usual. But that's it, y'all. That is it. I hope you like this little haul. It wasn't big. My thoughts are still out on the Erin Condren Life Planner. Um, I'm still in the B6 rings, so. I honestly can't say that I'm going to start planning because I honestly don't have a lot of time to plan anymore, y'all. Um, just like life again. I have like three kids, so there's not a lot of time for me to sit down. Even filming this video, I'm having to do it while they're asleep. So I'm just trying to get between the budget videos up, the monthly videos, and the weekly planning videos. Like It's a lot. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to incorporate a whole nother system. Uh, because for my daily planning, I that's how I pre-plan. You know or I plan about the day and pre-plan and so I use those plans to transfer into my b6 rings and those are kind of like post plans memory plans and then I do of course my monthly planning and my deluxe monthly planner and I do monthly planning in my b6 rings so I would love and you know I wasn't too impressed with the um, with the layout but just because FOMO and being a millennial and being human you know you just want to you're curious <laughs> so um i may get one i may not i'll let y'all know but i do have one from last year that i never really use i make covers so i have to buy the planners anyway so i can have the right dimensions for the covers and different things like that so i'll let y'all know but nonetheless that is it for my little haul here again thank you to erin condren and her um, pr team and until next time guys make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like this video if you want to see more definitely support the channel by subscribing you can follow me on instagram at bliss and faith and check out um items in my shop stickers planner accessories like covers and dashboards vellums over at blissandfaith.com and I think that's it, y'all. So hopefully I'll be back less rusty. And thank you again so much. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.